Hi friends and welcome back to the control engineering gig. This video uh, will illustrate how to model a mechanical system using a more advanced mechanical system than the other examples uh, through the same steps that are we followed uh, in the other examples or videos. We're gonna uh, learn how to model this dynamic system and find out the final answer is true or not and then try to find the transfer function between uh, input output signals let's jump into the example so we have this example here uh, where we have a mass connected through a rope to this pendulum uh, through this spring and pulley the pendulum also being affected by this damper and this spring as well this system cannot be modeled directly since we need to have uh, some assumptions so let's uh, state the assumptions so the first assumptions all points are fixed uh, and they have a moment of inertia about their center of rotation so in other ways they are homogeneous moment of inertia is about their uh, center or uh, center of rotation the other important assumption is that this mass all uh, only have uh, only has one movement which is in the perpendicular it doesn't have horizontal is not wobbling or shaking it just have one movement on the uh, vertical axis the perpendicular pendulum ha uh, has a mass of m1 uh, and moment of inertia I1 this moment of inertia I1 is about this pivot point is not about the center this is important uh, it's also homogeneous so it's center of mass and center uh, centroid uh, are uh, on the same point which is in the middle of the pendulum here this assumption is very important assume small angular displacement as we can discover later uh, this assumption enables us to treat this system in a linear fashion uh, because if we don't assume small angular displacement we need to perform linearization at final step in order to apply the uh, linear control theories no slippings no friction we don't have uh, fr friction effects here all positions and angular display are suspect to the static equilibrium so we don't include the uh, effect of this mass or the pulley or the pendulum uh, in the equations except the pendulum will have its mass uh, affecting the dynam its dynamic because it has a moment uh, about the uh, supporting point here no frictions in the system which is not uh, as like the slick this is already been taken care of okay let uh, start by adding uh, the coordinates so respectively let the pendulum the pulley and the mass move with the uh, coordinates theta 1 theta 2 and y as you can see here pendulum is moving to the uh, uh, right uh, to the left or the with the clockwise direction with theta 1 whereas the pendulum is uh, spinning anti-clockwise in theta 2 and the mass m is going downward as we did with the previous videos we need to define kinematic relations degree of freedoms and states okay since uh, this spring is connecting the pendulum to the mass through this pulley so the degree of freedoms theta 2 and y uh, have nothing to do with theta 1 so theta 1 is a uh, an individual single a degree of freedom so we can find any relationship between theta 1 theta 2 and y but since there is no spring or damper between these two items here or these components here 
uh, we can relate these two degree of freedoms so we can treat it as a one degree of freedom as we can write uh, y equal r uh, multiplied by theta 2 this is uh, the only kinematic relationship so this reduces the degree of freedom from 3 to 2 so we have only two freedom uh, two degree of freedom uh, for this system thus we need eventually to have two uh, governing equation to fully describe this complicated system the states are the corresponding uh, uh, derivative of the uh, degree of freedom so if you have uh, the angular displacement velocity and acceleration of the pendulum we do have the same for the pulley and if we don't use the this pulley we may have the linear acceleration linear uh, derivative of the block m which is y y dot and y double dot or the velocity uh, position and acceleration of this m so we may deal with this, this with this all with the displacement okay now we need to uh, do some assumption here let's assume that y1 is greater than l multiplied by theta 2 which is the linear displacement of this m this assumption th this assumption This assumption, um, although it seems to be uh, true, but it's not true. Uh, this has because we have the relationship between y and theta two, so this has to be theta one. So the the assumption should be in this way: y is greater than l theta one, which is the reason that coming from the pendulum and not from the pulley. So I'm sorry for this. This has to be theta one. Under this assumption, we can have these internal forces in the uh, components here, the springs and the damper. Okay, now we are ready to find the governing equations th through the first principles, which is the Newton's second law. This Newton's second law, this law needs to uh, have the free body diagram for the each component so where, where we have for the pendulum, the pulley and we may use the mass block as well later so for the pendulum under the assumptions that y is greater than the linear uh, displacement of the pendulum at this point here we may have these uh, forces here uh, let's mention that these forces are the reactions of these forces on the pendulum so you can uh, see that the point this force is pointing the other direction because we are taking the reaction this is true for this force and this force as well for the point pivot point here we have these two uh, reactions as well but we will not use them in the equations because simply we can find the moment about this point so we don't bother ourselves with these however we need to know the force that coming from the damper and the force coming from the tilting of the pendulum here which is the mass okay in order to find these ma the magnitude of some of these forces we need to know the geometry of the system here so in, when the system moves uh, to the left with theta 1 we have the following displacements we need this displacement here and this displacement here which are the points here and here so this displacement you can just find it this part from this point to the four point of action of the springs is just the L or the length of the pendulum uh, multiplied by sine theta 1 same for the R is the multiplied by the half of the length but since we are assuming small angular displacement uh, we can say that the sine theta uh, is just the theta itself or the angle itself wh while the cosine of that angle is equal to 1 when we assume a small value for this displacement 
So this is another way to linearize the system. So under this assumption, uh, this reduces to this form, to this linear form here. So we can write the very first force uh, value or force uh, expression F uh, sub C, which is the coming from the damper. Uh, the damper needs to know the displacement uh, derivative with respect to time as uh, it's the velocity so we have the constant of the damper multiplied by the velocity velocity is the displacement this derivative with time so L is constant so the only derivative will, will, will uh, come, uh, coming from the theta or one for F2K this force from this spring this displacement uh, is 2KL theta 1 the displacement here whereas for FK2 we need to have the displacement and the displacement that coming from the block M or the theta 2 so it's Y minus L2 minus 1 multiplied by K and this has to be positive uh, as we assumed Y is greater than L multiplied by theta 1 uh, in the previous slides so the, the remaining force M1 G uh, and the reaction force here a uh, connection so now we can apply the moment uh, equation uh, the moment version of the Newton second law we need to have a point to take the moment which will be this point here this point here we need to have a direction so we take the direction of the theta one which is the clockwise to be positive and consider all the uh, momentum or moments in that direction to be positive and the other uh, to be negative if they are spinning in the uh, opposite direction so we have if the only force that is rotating with the clockwise direction here the F2K, the MG, FC are rotating in the opposite direction so they have the negative values here okay moment of inertia I1 as we assumed in the first slide this I1 is uh, the moment of inertia of the pulley around the pivot point here and we assume that this pull, uh, pull uh, or the pendulum is uh, moving with theta1 you can arrange the forces here uh, and introduce this one and then check out uh, the final form this is the final form as you can see all terms of the degree of theta uh, 1 or degree of freedom theta 1 are positive on the left hand side which is the acceleration the velocity uh, the, uh, the angular velocity and angular displacement all are positive so this equation is one of the equations uh, that describe the system okay let's proceed to the uh, pulley this pulley here okay apply second law of thermodynamics uh, sorry the second law of newton we need to have the free body diagram of the system as you can see here we can apply the moment version of the newton second law we need to have a direction we took the direction of theta 2 as our direction or coordinate here so anti-clockwise uh, what w only the fk is uh, working anti-clockwise and in addition to the torque that are being applied to the system okay so the moment of inertia i2 we assume the moment of inertia of this uh, pulley to be around the point e here uh, the angle here or the uh, uh, angular acceleration is theta 2 so you can uh, rearrange this system again to be uh, in this form at this point you cannot check the system because you don't know the you, or you haven't uh, substituted the value of y here and uh, beside that you don't know the value of fm this fm is the force that coming from the mass m so 
before we decide if this equation is true or not, uh, we need to do the block diagram uh, or free body diagram of the M and find the corresponding equation. So we have this block diagram here uh, performing second law of Newton. All forces with the direction of Y are positive, which we which, which are none. Here only we have one force is uh, upward, so it will have a negative sign. Okay, but we know that this relationship is true y equal to r theta 2 so it reduce this in this equation and you can have an expression of the force fm and you can introduce it back in this part here so some of this this relationship relationships this one and this one in the uh, equation star we can have this format uh, eventually so as you can see here all the parts or terms have positive terms okay so this equation is also true so this is the second equation uh, or second degree of uh, freedom uh, governing equation together with the equation coming from the pulley both the dynamic of the system Okay, so it's a question that coming from the pulley, we need to substitute it for one. Okay, and the other equation from the pulley and the mass M both give us this equation here. This system has one input outputs, which will be the theta one or the displacement of the pulley uh, of the pendulum and the displacement of the pulley or you can uh, interchangeably use the display the linear displacement of the mass m so one can find the transfer friction between the input theta uh, between the input and the output theta one and theta two so we, we may have two uh, transfer functions between the input and the outputs so we uh, simply can perform the Laplace transform of this equation here and Laplace transform of this equation and uh, write uh, one of them in terms of the other introduce it to the equation that has the uh, input and perform the ratio between them that will be simply give you the uh, transfer function so these are these just these equations uh, but in the Laplace domain So the <coughs> perfection between the output theta 2 and input theta uh, t of s is just simply this in this form. This makes the geek uh, impressed, but he will be uh, confused again if we ask this question, which is uh, it's simple for you. Could you find the transfer function between theta of t and theta uh, t of t and theta of 1? Which is very simple you can just reverse uh, the uh, what you have done for what i have done for theta 2 and t of s